What's it like to roll camera near the speed of sound? We'll go inside. Stellar traffic helicopter 105. Outside and upside down as we take a wild ride behind the scenes with the award-winning aerial cinematography aces of Wolf Air. Next on Backstage Pass. It's late morning. At Wolf Air, the flight and film crew are gathering on the tarmac to prep for the day's mission. Meanwhile, Jeff Sr. is en route to the studio to brief with stunt flying ace, Scott Herschel. He is in the International Council of Air Shows. He is an ace, which is considered the highest level of checking aerobatic pilots out. Scott, it's good to, good see, to see you. Jack. How are you doing? Great. So tell me a little bit about uh, Scott Herschel. Well, as a young boy, my father uh, had been a crop duster uh, before I was born. And uh, when I was about five or six years old, he took me on a flight in a small airplane. And then my uncle had bought a new helicopter in California and they ferried it through Phoenix. Okay. He brought me to the airport and I'll never forget my first flight as we took off across the uh, orchards. And I could see the orchards down to the chin bubble and I was just mesmerized by this helicopter. Yeah. And ever since then, I wanted to fly helicopters. I was the same way, five years old, Piper Cub, my dad took me up in. So as you progressed through, you got your ratings, obviously, mm -hmm. and you were in camera work too, right? Did yes, you do? I did some film work uh, early on uh, for a company that I was doing some flight tests for. Uh, we were building weapon systems for uh, the military. Okay. So we did a lot of air-to-air -air filming, a lot of flight tests, and then later uh, I started doing some air-to-air -air film work for Red Bull and a number of uh, different companies. I did a lot of work down in Mexico as well. You were an advisor to several airframe manufacturers, correct? So as yes. you got, I mean, how did you get into that? Because it takes a lot of hours and experience. So how did you build your experience? Flying I, helicopters. <clears throat> I think over over time, I had opportunities from some great people. I had a great mentor at a very young age, uh, and I was privileged to be able to fly a number of different airframes. Uh, most aviators fly one type of airframe, one type of aircraft. Right. Um, one of the manufacturers came to me, and I had fl they were going to design a new helicopter, and they asked me to do some flight tests on the new design. So I went to Canada. It was Bell Helicopter. Uh, there were 20 of us on a design committee. We designed a new helicopter from scratch, which was the new Jet Ranger. A uh, very iconic aircraft. I know okay, you flew yeah. the Jet Ranger as yeah. well. So it was a great privilege as a young boy to see this Jet Ranger. It was always something I w hoped I could fly. And right. then uh, three years ago, uh, I had the opportunity to be instrumental in the design of it and perform flight testing for Bell Helicopter. What are you doing now with you? Because you have a new project that you're working on. We do. Back in 1995, I built a Hughes 500 helicopter from parts. Uh, fortunately, I met my longtime mentor now, Rich Lee, who is a chief test pilot for Hughes Helicopters, McDonnell Douglas, and then Boeing. Just retired as the Boeing chief test pilot on the Apache program. Wow. Uh, Rich took me up. Uh, in 1995 and let me do aerobatics with him. Mm -hmm. And when I built my helicopter, I put it into experimental just so I could do that. Uh, so I did aerobatics back in the 90s. I also uh, raced in the Phoenix 500 air races for McDonnell Douglas. I flew the NOTAR helicopter in the Phoenix 500 air races and did aerobatics in it as well. So as time goes on, I, I kind of got out of the aerobatics, uh, uh, applied for the Red Bull job. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't get it, but I had told him that if I didn't get it, I was gonna buy my own helicopter and do my own air show. Uh, the entrepreneur yes. of Scott and, Herschel. Yes, <laughs> and so my partner and I, uh, who owns a U.S. Roast Coffee Company, uh, and I came w together with a plan when we found the right, right machine at the right price, we were going to do this. So in November, uh, we bought the MBB B0105 or Airbus B0105 helicopter, okay. and uh, we went through a complete rebuild of the helicopter and inspection program. Uh, we lightened it up and configured it so we could do aerobatics in it. So. I've uh, been operating it a little over a month and a half now and getting ready for the air show season and some social media work we're going to do. You know, explain a little bit about aerobatics and what's involved because a lot of people don't realize. Uh, so the, the helicopter is much different than the airplane. Um, typical aerobatics in an airplane in a pit that like you flew, you know, a, a loop would be three and a half, four G's. Mm -hmm. um, in the helicopter, that's way beyond the, the uh, structural limits of the aircraft. And so what's a G? Explain a G. to our audience. So right now we're, we're sitting in these chairs at one G. Right. Uh, so gravity. Gravity. Okay. Gravity is one G. If we were to take the helicopter like in a roller coaster and go over the top of the roller coaster, we would get to zero G potentially, mm -hmm. possibly 
negative a G if we were to be like hanging by the car, seat. Yeah, over the, okay. over the hill. <laughs> so so uh, 2G is two times our weight. So if we weigh 100 pounds, we're 200 pounds. 3G, we're 300 pounds. Okay. Uh, so this affects the structural loads on the rotor system and on the airframe of any aircraft, be it a helicopter or an airplane. Uh, because we have these little rotor blades out there, uh, we have to be nice to them and we need to keep the G loading down. So um, unlike the airplane, we do not want a lot of G and there are techniques that we use that are unlike airplane pilots. If you were to use the same technique in a loop in an airplane in our helicopter, it probably wouldn't work out very good for you. Um, so you have some footage that I've watched. So that, that one maneuver you do where it, it looks like it goes up and then it almost like falls back on its back. Pivots, yes. What's that called? Uh, that's the black backflip. The backflip. Uh, backflip. So right. we <laughs> enter that typically from a hover. Okay. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, we don't have a canopy. We just have a windscreen and an overhead uh, right. uh, window. Uh, so as we, we lift, we start climbing the helicopter from a hover and we develop some inertia so that we can pull it over the top. Uh, and that maneuvers about done properly. It's around two G's, okay. uh, not very, very violent. And hopefully you're going to go up with us a little later and uh, experience this. He wants me to go up with him and uh, do some aerobatics, but I'm game. I'm ready. Love the forward visibility. That's crazy, huh? Wow, what a morning. Ooh. Wanna fly it? Got it, your aircraft. I have it. Yeah, the rigid is different. Yeah, it's super responsive. I mean, if you just roll it a little bit to the right or left, whatever, yeah. you'll feel. So the rigid rotors have a couple a couple of habits that are less than desirable. Uh, one is if you hit, let go of the collective and you don't have friction on it and the collective drops, it'll bunt like negative G like that. Wow. So uh, that's that's normal in every rigid rotor. You got to uh, have your hand on the collective all yeah, the time. Yeah, I, I keep my hand on it all the time and I run a little friction on it. Picked a good morning, huh? Oh my god. I mean, God. it was cool this morning Gorgeous. when I headed over there. It was yeah. actually chilly in my golf cart. So. All right, I have the controls. You have the aircraft. So we use I use this road right here as my uh, your guide, my okay. guide cool. line, and then I've got some areas marked off. But today we're just getting some video, so we'll take it easy. All right, so everything's in the green. And we don't have anybody above us. Clear yeah. left, clear right, clear left. Clear up at we're ahead. Yeah, I was I was feeling your collective on. Ah, uh, petting. <laughs> so just a little bit of dandy, yeah, dandy tour I, to bring it back. Yeah. In. But not, two G's. Not bad though, man. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Clear left. Clear left. Your aircraft. Yep, aircraft. It's pretty. It's pretty uneventful. I mean, it's not like going out in the pits yeah. and doing no, aerobatics. No. You're, well, you're, and you're not pulling near the G. No. You know? Yeah, you don't see many helicopters with G meters in them. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ooh, those pedals are really funky. Let's move that out here. Oh man. Fun. 